In this video, I want to quickly demonstrate how to use the Trade Tracker along with the Historical Trade Simulator in Track and Trade. Notice on the right hand side of the chart this little green play button. Here at the top of the play control button bar. This button tells us that the market is played to the very last price bar that we have data for. Our ability to trade back in time through the Historical Trade Simulator gives us the ability to move the chart forward and back with play controls like you would find in a VCR. To activate the play controls, click the green button which then turns red. By having the button set to red tells us that we are now in Trade Tracker or Historical Trade Simulation mode. We now have our play controls which allows us to move the chart forward and back in time. Each button provides a different level of movement. If I move the chart back in time, you'll notice that the lower play buttons are now solid black, which indicates that I now have unseen data further ahead in the chart, allowing me the ability to move the chart forward in time. I can move the chart forward in time until the play controls gray out, which means I no longer have any future data available. We also have a jump button, or our play to date button as it's titled. Let's say I want to play back to January 1st, 2015. I simply click the play to date, I find the date that I want the chart to be played to, January 5th, 2015, then hit OK, which then brings the chart back to that exact date. Let's simulate placing a trade. Again, this can be done for several purposes. To track a real money trade you might have recently made, or to simply simulate trading in the past as a means of perfecting your trading skills. Click over to the accounting tab, which reveals our order placement ticket. Fill in the blanks to either buy or sell. In this case, let's buy at the market, 100 shares. No need to specify a rate since we're just placing a market order for the current going price. Click confirm and our order has been placed and now is represented on the screen as well as in the accounting window. Alternatively, we could have just as easily used our drag and drop order placement tool to help us place our order. Simply click the BS button in the same button bar Click on the screen and drag your order to the desired price level. You'll notice the order placement box automatically switches to a stop order and pre-fills the rate based on where you drag and drop the order on the screen. This is a quick and easy way of placing trailing stop orders or target limit orders. As we move the market forward and backward in time with the play controls, our profits and losses are updated and orders are filled with each new price bar in the lower accounting window. That's just a quick and simple look behind the concept of our historical trade simulator, being able to not only track the current trades that you have in the live markets, but to also be able to come back and actually do historical simulated trading as well. We cover advanced simulation features and capabilities along with placing different order types in other videos.